Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I am here with Zulfi Alam, who is the GM of the Xbox accessories business. He is gonna tell us all about the brand new Xbox One controller. Zulfi, tell me about some of the improvements you've made in the controller. I hear there's over 40 different improvements in the Xbox One controller. What we did is the first and foremost is, notice the battery door on the old controller is sort of protruding out a little bit. Yep. We decided to integrate that. Okay. That drove a lot of the internal design changes. Then what we did was we worked really hard on the ergonomics of the device. We wanted to make sure that it was incredibly comfortable. I mean, the, the Xbox 360 controller, some consider to be the best one in gaming. You, you, you know, you really had to focus on that to make it even better. How did you do that? So we had hundreds of models, mm -hmm. hundreds of user research studies, and essentially hours of gaming mm -hmm. with models to make sure mm -hmm. that people felt comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. And the changes that we came up with are some are small, some are large, but in, on balance, they essentially make the life of the game much easier. For example, I'll give you a really tiny example. The old control has screws underneath it. Mm -hmm. And our belief was after eight hours or nine hours of gaming, mm -hmm. gamers start complaining. Yeah. It sort of bugs They them. can feel that back they there. They can feel it. Mm -hmm. So we came up with a design point that essentially is screwless. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a huge deal. Mm -hmm. On the thumbsticks, what we said on the thumbsticks, we make them much more precise, so we reduce the dead zones. But we also had a little bit of gimbal on each one of them. Yeah. It's soft rubber, yeah. and the whole idea is it can have hours and hours of gaming, and it makes it just better. Yeah. And the sticks are also, they seem to be a little bit smaller. Tiny bit smaller. Yeah. Again, every change was validated yeah. by core gamers. Right. We want to make sure that the core guys love it. One of the areas that we've heard a lot from gamers about is the D-pad. Zolfi, how have you made the Xbox One controller, the D-pad, even better? Yes, the D-pad, we, we received some feedback on. The, our core gamers were not terribly pleased with the, with the height of the D-pad, and over the last couple of years, we've been trying on 360. Now, when you say height, in terms of where it sits, like you can see it's a little higher here. Yes, exactly. Notice it's slightly higher than the, the, the new one. Mm -hmm. So the point of having the new D-pad, first of all, we changed the shape to make it a clean plus sign. Okay. And then we decided, if, if, I, if I may, uh, open our device Now, you can't up. do this at home, but we have a special one here in the studio where you can look at that. So the point here is, we, what we did is we made it closer to the to the motherboard, okay. and what it essentially allows us to do is to reduce the travel time mm -hmm. and get the nice, force, uh, like crisp force to fire. Click, click. There's a little click in there. Yeah. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the triggers. I hear there's haptic feedback. So you see these big rumble motors that already. So exist. this is a lot of people may not notice, but this is what the rumble motors look like. It looks very similar in the Xbox 360, but that's the rumble motor. That's the rumble motor. Yep. And what we did is we took these motors, we shrunk them, mm -hmm. and added, made a similar ones tiny ones inside the trigger the itself. And essentially what it does is it changes the way gamers perceive gaming. Okay. If you're shooting a, a, a sniper rifle, mm -hmm. there's a very particular feel that you that you get and you should get. Mm -hmm. And it should be different from what a bazooka is. And essentially now we can get that to you. Once game developers start using these this new feature, they can tell the difference between a, a rifle, a bazooka, your car skidding out of control, hitting gravel, the tiny motions of, of hitting brakes and getting ABS kicking the pulsing on your brake on your brake trick trigger, you can get those feelings. So, in addition to the rumble, game developers, which they've they've had with 360, is with Xbox One, they're going to have the rumble as well as this additional feedback, as you said, where they can maybe give the kickback of a rifle or of a vehicle. That is exactly right. So, think about it. You're playing Forza, yep. and you go through the curve, and your car starts to skid out of control. Historically, you have these big rumble motors sort okay. of shaking. Right. No, we'll give you actual feeling if the right tires. Slipping out of control, right. the right one will give, have a slightly more feeling. Wow. It's Think of it as fine motor control versus coarse motor control. Wow. Zolfi, tell me about this little micro USB port here on the uh, back of the controller. Sure. Gamers tend to have two different controllers. The, the wired one that they use for gaming scenarios when they go for competitions, mm -hmm. and the wireless one, which is more casual. Mm -hmm. And we said, why, do, why should we let have a customers buy two of these? Let's give them the option of just buying one. So this is a two-in-one controller, essentially. You got it. Right. How does that work? The way it works is the moment you plug in the wire, essentially the entire control, the radio in the controller shuts shut down. Mm -hmm. And at that point, this controller transforms itself into, be, into being a truly wired controller. So all the data now comes down the USB cord, and that's industry standard, comes right down to your, to your console. That is correct. So it comes straight down to your console, it's industry standard, and you can use any USB cable that you want. Now, in, in terms of the wireless protocol, we also re redefined it completely from scratch. There were two goals. First, increase the bandwidth mm -hmm. of this wireless protocol significantly more, 20, 20x more than what we have right now. Okay. And the other one was to reduce the latency. So the moment you press the button for, for a fire button, right. the time it takes to go to your console and back, essentially we reduce that. And you're dealing in milliseconds now. I mean, just really a finite, really small number. This is all milliseconds, essentially we improved by 20%. Now tell us a little bit about the, of uh, course, this is the Xbox uh, uh, button right there on the top. When you click that, you'll go to your dashboard. But around that, that's an, kind of a, it's an infrared window, right? 
Yes. First of all, it's not just a button. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the reason is, this is actually, it took a lot of processing to get this thing done. It is uh, a light pipe, mm -hmm. and on top of that, there's aluminum, mm -hmm. and it's transparent aluminum. Mm -hmm. So when you power this device on, you will see the light shine through metal. Mm -hmm. So it's really makes But you still press it, so it's kind of a button. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fancy. It sounds great, Listen, but it is. It's not fancy. It's awesome. It's <laughs> redefined. Okay. But anyways, we've also added... Uh, IR LEDs okay. inside the front, front inside the front plate, and what that does for the device is essentially the system knows because of Connect the camera, it knows it sees the LEDs and it knows the controller. Okay. So in during gameplay, if I decide to give you the controller, mm -hmm. essentially the profiles automatically shift. So it's going to say, oh, it knows Major Nelson is right here. Major Nelson's now playing because he has the controller. Got it. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. The okay. system is not smart enough. It understands. It knows where the controller is. And then space. I can hand it back to you, and, and it goes hand, right and back it, to you. And it knows exactly who is. Wow. So it's it's amazingness again. Yeah. Zolfi, tell us about this uh, the beautiful ABXY buttons. Yes, so the ABXY buttons, notice, notice in the previous controller what you had, you had the ABXY, they were sort of colored, they were very pretty, don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. Mm -hmm. But the new one, the X is floating in space. Yeah. Totally awesome, makes it look really beautiful. I also noticed the buttons, they, they seem a little bolder and perhaps a little bit closer together. They've been optimized, but okay. actually we took great pains to make sure that the experience is not impacted in any way or form. Great. Period. Great. No questions. Hundreds and hundreds of tests were done with thousands and thousands of users to make sure that core gamers, when they touch this controller, it feels familiar. Mm -hmm. It should feel like it's from the same family. Mm -hmm. It should feel, you should, you should have the best of the old one. And in addition, you have additionally, additional functionality. Great. Well, Zolfio, I appreciate you got 40 brand new uh, improvements to the, from the Xbox 360 controller to the Xbox uh, One controller. Thank you for stopping by and telling us a little bit about and kind of pulling it away to let us see the insides. Thanks, Zolfi. Thank you so much.